What's up guys, Nurse D. Porsche here. Um, let's get into the video, how to become a nurse CE provider. So I'm super happy to make this video because recently I've been approved through the Florida Board of Nursing to offer CE hours to those in the nursing field. So let's get into what a CE provider is. So a CE provider is just someone who's approved to offer continuing educational hours. And notice that I said hours and not CE units because there is a difference and I learned it going through this process. So what you're actually being awarded when you take particular courses for your CE um, renewal each year as a nurse is actually CE hours because 10 CE hours is equivalent to one unit. So actually you need three units, which is 30 hours to renew your nursing license every two years. So once you are approved as a CE provider, you can offer conferences, you can offer workshops, you can offer courses. Um, and at the end you can award CE hours for nurses looking to renew their license. And what's super dope to me is certain boards that you get approved through also allow you to offer, in addition to like educational, um, clinical courses, you can offer entrepreneurship courses. And so I was a CPR instructor for 10 years. And so one of my workshops that I plan to offer will be in that area. So again, that's not um, 100% nursing clinical, like we're not going over the disease process and all of that, but it is something that is useful to nurses. And so when they take this course, they can still get the hours needed to renew their license after two years. So I thought that was really dope. Okay, so now let's get into exactly how to become a provider. So I know of two ways. And so I'm only going to talk um, about one way a little bit because I did not take this route. And then the second way, I'm going to go more into detail because this is the route that I took. So number one being ANCC. So this is the American Nurse Credentialing Center. And I find that this route is a little bit more complicating than this second route. And so I say that because number one, you could only apply this route that I've seen on their website three times a year. And so I was able to apply right away with the route that I took and I got approved shortly after. Going through the ANCC, it looks like, um, as you can see here, it says to be, you'll have to become eligible, then you have to become an applicant, then you have to complete the application, and then you have to complete what is um, submit what is called a self-study and activity. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it sounds like maybe similar to the courses that you have to create to submit the route that I went. Um, but again, I'm not sure because I did not take this particular route. Um, and then you become approved and credited and all the things. And so again, I did not go the ANCC route. So I don't want to give any too much information on that. This is just what I've seen from the website in a quick snippet. Um of what is required to become a CE provider through that route. Um, so I will put the link in the description of this video so that you guys, if you are interested in this particular route, you can go that way. Because to my understanding, I believe all states are approved through the ANCC. Like you can offer courses, workshops, and all the nine to every single state in the US going the ANCC route. All right, so we're going to get into route, the second route, which is the route that I took, which is going through the Board of Nursing. So you have Board of Nursing of California, you have Board of Nursing of Florida, you have Board of Nursing of all the Boards of Nursing of the states, right? And so I went the particular route of um, Board of Nursing of Florida is because I met with a um, woman who offers like the CE... A provider made easy course that basically teaches you how to complete the process how to complete like the policy and procedures and and everything like that and so I found her online and um, I had a consult with her and she just told me basically that uh, Board of Nursing of Florida was the easiest route that she found um, and it didn't take a whole lot of time and so I decided to just go that route um, and I took her provider made easy course 
to go this route. So I'm going to get into it. Um, first, I want to go over some dates so that you guys can better understand exactly how this all worked out. So I purchased her course, which I 100% recommend if you don't know how to create like policy and procedures and all the things that this website asks for, if you're unsure how to go about it or whatever, I definitely recommend her course because she literally has the blueprint. And like what I mean by that is she literally has everything available for you. Have to create two particular courses to submit with your application, which was super easy. She goes over, she has an example of the courses that she creates. And it's not an actual course, it's actually like the outline, the reference page, and all the things. You don't actually have to like create a course. You're just submitting um, all the details of a course um, so that they can see kind of the concept of how you're going to create your course, how you're going to store it, how you're going to follow the guidelines and everything, right? And so I definitely recommend her course. I'm going to put the link in the description. Please go through the link in the description because I am affiliated with her. I am affiliated marketer because I stand 100% by this course. It's really good. Um, and I went through it and completed it and got my um, approval within 10 days. So I'm going to go into that because I, I had the consult with her. I purchased the course in August. August 30th of 2023. Now, she, when I had this consult with her, she did explain to me that another nurse took that course and was able to complete it in like a weekend sitting. So then I heard that and I'm like, okay, so I could definitely do it. But she does offer more options. Like she's, she offers the option of do it yourself and then she offers the option to do it for you. But I believe the do it for you is between like three to five thousand dollars and so i decided to go the cheaper route and then i felt like if she had everything um available for me i could do it myself and i definitely recommend this route so um again i purchased it august 30th of 2023 i took that weekend of the 7th so october 7th and 8th i spent that time like going through everything needed to be submitted and then um, I completed everything, including the course outline and everything that I needed to submit for the application on the 8th. And I submitted my application to the CE Brokers website on October 8th of 2023. And I received my approval email October 18th, 2023. So that is exactly 10 days before I was approved to be a CE provider for the uh, through the Florida Board of Nursing. So that was like easy peasy, right? And so again, I'll put the information in there in the description of the video, but I recommend this route. Um, Florida Board of Nursing is of course not the only route. Um, there's California Board of Nursing and all the things. But as I mentioned earlier, if you were to go through ANCC, you could offer courses that are applicable to every single state within the U.S. However, if you are to go the Florida Board of Nursing route, there are three particular states that you will not be able to give CEU hours. I said CEU? <laughs> CE. Excuse me, CE hours too. It is Hawaii, New Jersey, and Maryland. Hawaii, New Jersey, and Maryland. These three states, through the Florida, uh, Florida Board of Nursing, you cannot offer CEU hours to. So that is something to consider if you are in these states or you are looking to offer courses, workshops, or whatever, whatever have you um, to these particular states. That is something to keep in mind. And also something, if you do go th through this place, and um, you want to offer something online, you have to know on your website that you cannot offer to these three places. All right, so that is how you become a CE provider. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and ask in the comment section and I'll be sure to um, answer the questions. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one and I promise you, I will keep them coming. Now this video ran over. I did actually want to put in 
this video like the different ways you can make money with being a CE provider, but I ran out of time. So if that's something you guys want to see, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, and again, like and subscribe to this channel and I promise you I will keep them coming. Love you guys. Love and light.